Hi everyone, welcome to Ed Nation. Today, we're gonna talk about restoring apps that used to be on your iPad that got deleted. It could be your iPhone, iPad, whatever device you have uh, within that account that you're signed up. I had recently purchased this for my son, this iPad mini for his birthday, or not for his birthday, uh, but for Christmas. And it came late here in 2021. Anyway, after about two weeks, I had to completely do a complete restore, a hard restore or a hard recovery, I think they call it. And, you know, when you do that, you lose everything. And I also did not have a backup. So this will work for that as well. So there were several obstacles and I thought, oh, I'm going to have to repave for, uh, you know, some of these apps. But in the end, I didn't want to have to do that, especially after I only had it maybe a week. And, you know, it, it would have just been kind of silly to repay for that. So this video is going to just talk about how to do it. One thing I also discovered while I was doing that, you know, from uh, because my iPhone and my son's iPad are linked to the same account. If I have something on my iPhone that I want to put on his iPad or vice versa, you can do that. So even if it's a paid app, you wouldn't have to pay for it, you know, on two separate devices in case you didn't know that, which I didn't. So that's handy. So again, this is just going to show you, you how you can, even if you, whether you've deleted apps in the past or if you had to do a hard recovery, whichever it may be. And even without having a backup, because I didn't do backup on mine. Uh, either way, this will let you restore those, we'll just call them deleted apps that you used to have. I hope you enjoy it. Let's, let's just get started here. Okay, so the first thing you do is you click on your App Store button here. Then, up, up to the right, you click on your Profile. I don't have a pick on it, but you click on that. If you have a pick, you'll see it. So then you'll see that. Now, the next thing you do is you hit purchased. So on anything purchased, it will show up. Uh, well, actually purchased or non-purchased. It just shows everything that's been on your iPad. Now, since I had to go through recovery, and by the way, when I recovered it, I didn't have a backup. So this works for that as well. And that was the beautiful part about that. Okay, so... Click on not on this iPad. So here are just all kinds of things that's been on there from uh, his old iPad or uh, some, some of this actually is even stuff from uh, my iPhone or whatever it may be. So there's all kinds of different things on here. So this is what's not on the iPad, but it still is linked to the account. So all you have to do, which you could probably figure out already, is you would just over here to the right, you just click on the cloud button and it will re-download it and you don't have to pay for it again that way and that's the beautiful part about it we'll go ahead and wait just so you can see that it does it but again i think this was maybe seven dollars something like that and i had just uh, i had just done this I, I wish i would have known about this from the old ipad i could i could have gotten it and not paid for it again but i, I didn't know about that and i think i paid for it so we just got this here in 2021 it was actually going to be a christmas item but it shipped late which i'm sure it was a popular item so anyway i'm just boring you with this another another thing if you want to search for things you, you'll notice this search bar if you want to click on that and type in the specific name so that makes it easy as well okay there we go it's all set you can either click open here or Let's just get out of that and find it, and it's right there. There it is, and that's how you do it. Again, just a recap, you hit your app button. Let me hit done, just to, let me get out of it like we don't know what we're doing. Okay, app, click on your profile up top, that where your profile picture would go, and then you're gonna see that purchase button, and you go there, and now you'll see that Roblox, or uh, Minecraft is installed because it shows open and it won't show up on the not on this iPad spot. So, it's as easy as that. I do hope you enjoy this. I hope it was helpful. And 
uh, please do click like, subscribe, and even the bell button if you want to see any future videos. And any suggestions, please let me know. And until next time, have a great day.